Please welcome TSMC's Director of High Performance Packaging Integration Division, Dr. Sheng Yan Ho. Good morning, everyone. Uh, I'm Shen Yong Ho. It's my honor to give the keynote here in the sum summit about advanced uh, co package optics uh, integrated by COAS. Uh, I will start by introducing the rationale for heterogeneous chiplet integration. Then I will explain the CPO as an A plus B type of innovation, where A is a compute module such as COW, and B is photonic engine, such as COOP. Although it sounds simple, the te technology is very complex, actually. The breakthrough of CPO with COAS and COOP will open a newer era for HPC and AI. We used uh, this page to illustrate how heterogeneous integration helps to boost the system performance. Uh, the lower curve represents the efforts made by Moore's law. Today, um, around 100 billion transistor can be integrated on a chip uh, 800 millimeters square. Uh, the upper curve shows the system performance proof boost uh, in terms of total uh, transistor count that can be achieved by 2.5D and 3D integration. As I will explain later, CPO is considered a new dimension of system performance boost. Uh, COAS is the main 2.5D integration platform for AI HPC. There are three fla flare flavors of COAS. Uh, COAS S is a silicon interposer in a large monolithic piece of sil silicon with interconnect and TSV. COAS R is an organic interposer, and COAS L is a composite interposer. It's worth noting that uh, COAS L uh, has an LSI interposer, which can um, extend the heterogeneous um, chip integration from the top die level to the interposer layer itself. The unique advantages make COAS L the most powerful COAS flavor in terms of overall system performance. This page consolidated the COAS past history as well as future roadmap. Uh, in the past 14 years, uh, since uh, 2011, the technology has gone through several periods of transition. First is HBM development, which uh, uh, start to get ready in 2016. Then the COAS L, we uh, COAS S, we reached the maximum interposer size in 2020. Then uh, in two, 2024, we fin finished the development of COAS L. And now it's the first stage. Uh, all the uh, interposer size feature and the thermal performance are being pushed at a very high speed. 
know that this x scale is actually not linear. And uh, we, if it's linear, we'll see a high uh, slope, higher slope in, in recent year. Uh, in, there are only four dyes that can be for, put on a 12 inch wafer for a 9.5 reticle size interposer, which is a, a right hand side. Uh, we have to de develop alternative solution other than wafer, that is uh, panel based coas, copus and also system on wafer, SOW. We have been working on silicon photonics integration for quite a few years. We came up with this unique EIC on PIC 3D stack called Compact and Universal Photonic Engine, or COOP, by leveraging SOIC technology. The same structure is compatible with major coupling geometry of grating coupler, GC, and edge coupler, EC. While the coupe wafer is available for both GC and EC, we pr prioritize the CPO development on GC because uh, it's uh, has better supply chain readiness uh, than EC. Now we take a closer look at the coupe structure. There are optical features added in addition to uh, the SOIC. It's worth noting that the uh, silicon handle of the SOI wafer of the PIC is completely removed in the coupe process. Therefore, the backside C4 layer is connected to SOIC stack through TDV, which does not have the high frequency loss as TSV. The vertical optical pass of the coupe GC is a key to achieve low loss in GC. First, there's a backside metal reflector under GC thanks to the silicon handle removal. There are silicon lens on top of the permanent silicon carrier to color made the beam before reaching the optical fiber. Finally, anti-reflect coating layers are designed along the optical path to minimize the optical loss. After a careful optical simulation process optimization, we are able to achieve a net zero in insertion loss increase from PIC to coupe. This is very good achievement given that the laser lead needs to travel through the support silicon more than 700 micron thick in coupe. The 1DGC insertion loss remain 1.2 dB from PIC all the way to coupe. Peak wave, wavelength spread is within 1.7 nanometer. One dB bandwidth is around 25 nanometer. Coupe enables silicon photonics optical engine and high, high bandwidth. It can be used for pluggable as well as for CPO. Both OE on substrate and OE on interposer are considered CPO. We will enter production for OE on substrate next year. And we are also working on OE on interposer. Uh, the power efficiency of CPO with OE on substrate and OE on in interposer are estimated about five and two picojoule per bit, much lower than that of 10 picojoule per bit for pluggable solutions.
The bandwidth growth of silicon photonics optical I.O. will be preceded in three dimensions. First is a speed improvement in the PIC and the EIC, and to carry more wavelengths in one optical I.O. Second one is through packaging structure migration, basically to shorten the distance between COAS compute module and the coupe. Third, the number of fiber fiber uh, sorry. How to get away with that? Um, okay. As mentioned above, COAS and Coop will be integrated together in one package to empower the performance growth of AI and HPC systems. COAS will be developed in bigger sizes to accommodate more transistors, more 3D stackable, stacked die types, and more LSI flavors in the reconstituted inter interposer. The optical I.O. may be made by Coop, will be developed for higher bandwidth, lower energy per bit, and lower latency. I will conclude my talk here. Uh, I already mentioned the first three bullets in previous page. Uh, the uh, thing I like to emphasize is the last one. Long-term CPO roadmap advancement calls for the need for supply chain innovation and collaboration. For example, CP and FT test of CPO, FAU innovation, optical assembly with high throughput and yield all need to be carefully addressed. Thank you very much for your attention.